Through our river health program, we generate large quantities of woody weed debris, and, and particularly willow and poplar, um, but numerous other things as well. Historically, that material has been disposed of by burning. That practice um, is becoming uh, less and less palatable over time. The North East Catchment Management Authority in 2008 did a, um, a greenhouse emissions uh, audit. We looked at a number of possible solutions for our, our woody weed uh, willow uh, heat residue. Um, and at the time, biochar stacked up as the best option that gave you, uh, still disposed of, of your waste product, but converted it to a product that was useful um, on site to the farmers, um, potentially had a value, um, potentially gave you a, an, an extra reason to want to go and do these activities. Um, and importantly, it sequestered the carbon. What we have here today is a completely new uh, technology. It's a mobile batch pyrolysis plant. Now, pyrolysis is the uh, uh, low temperature uh, thermal conversion of biomass to a product called biochar. So effectively, you're cooking the wood in a low oxygen environment at around about 500 degrees in a very large slow combustion oven type environment. The key innovative aspects of this technology are that it's transportable um, and that it is processing logs. Pretty much all other pyrolysis technologies require some sort of chipping, so you take the feedstock down to a uniform size and you pyrolyse it that way. This particular machine, you can process logs as they are. Very little fuel is required to run this process. When you do pyrolysis, it's an exothermic process. You release the majority of the energy of the wood when you do pyrolysis. It is a self-sustaining process. So zero fuel is required once you're up and running. So the applications of the machine are quite extended. Like in this particular situation, we're processing uh, willow that's been taken out of rivers to, for river cleanup work. We have a very sophisticated five-stage afterburner flue arrangement. This keeps emissions from the machine well within regulatory requirements. All you see coming out of the flue is a heat haze. Mobile technology is very important to us because we have large quantities of biomass that we need to deal with, but it's spread out over a very broad geographic area. So having a centralised plant that you needed to bring material to was not viable because of your, your trucking costs and extra emissions and so on and so forth. This mobile technology means we can take it straight to the source of the problem, undertake the conversion to biochar and then potentially use that char on site. The biochar is a, a charcoal-like substance but it's very different to charcoal. This is a carbon drawdown technology in that you grow a tree, you pyrolyse it, you lock the carbon up, you put that into the soil it has good soil benefits for the soil and, you, and that biochar will stay there for a few thousand years. So it is a carbon drawdown technology which has important implications for, for climate change. One of the fun aspects of this project has been doing the test work with the biochar in application trials. We've been looking at agricultural soil amendments, wastewater treatment trials, potting and gardening mixture trials and also chemical spill cleanup trials as well. This particular technology could be a fantastic environmental and sustainable solution to problems in developing countries, particularly where they've got stranded biomass, which is what this machine was designed for.